Mara, you're still a medical doctor. <laughs> you know, people will be in... The, so, oh, okay. So a lot of people are like, okay, but then why didn't you say... Why did you guys say that um, to the media that you're not a doctor? So I don't know if you recall with my this pr previous account where it got blocked. I made a video saying that I just scored a TV gig. I don't know who remembers it, who was on that account, right? So before I got arrested, um, there was a documentary that we were shooting called Dr. Matthew, The Untold Story. Um, and we wrapped up the documentary a couple of days ago. So when the people approached me, they thought that it was about, you know, this TikTok star turned fake doctor, whatnot. So when they came and they met with me and they, I was like, no, in actuality. And then that's how then the documentary took that spin, that twist. So the documentary features friends, family members, um, old school teachers, everybody. And it's all about that. So within that doc, you meant to read, it is about, um, it's about, you know, me being an actual doctor. And by us then telling the media that, oh no, going around media telling it, it defeats the purpose of the documentary, you understand? And on top of that, I got paid shitloads of money off it. So it was an issue of, okay, we are not allowed to disclose certain information to the media so that the documentary kind of like has something viewers would want to watch. And Karizi, if 1.6 yalu nali shibile mo tiktoko, let's like shibile la docu, document hor. Hey loves and welcome back to yet another to the trend segment with me yellow kazi. Kake vo fei tsuko manzi panzi di a bogus Dr. Matthew Lani Bongani is back by popular demand. This time around, he decided to even join or Twitter before to let me tell you something about this doctor. He literally has an answer for each and every question that he was being asked before today on the spaces. Furthermore, it does seem as though while he was away from social media, for each and every question before to overlap pendule, like but uh did I not watch <laughs> them tell us that he's not a doctor on national TV? What is he now telling me? So um, he's back even on Twitter and uh, his bio is uh, saying, unlike Dr. Nandi Pama Gudumana, I walked away. Okay. And people are like, you are comparing yourself to the Dr. Nandi Pama Gudumani Itag Engak. But anyways, you guys, he is basically uh, still standing by his word. Although we all know his lawyer confirmed it on national TV that he is not that he was a doctor. acting there by social media uh please guys just take a look at this video whereby he is explaining one of his trending videos whereby he literally denied his stethoscope at Yena. Uh, no that's not mine take a look at what he has to say about that particular video then at the end i'll be back with the rest of my commentary so the stethoscope that they were talking about was Issa stethoscope. Hence, I said, it's not mine. They went to go fetch mine in the car. And stethoscope, Lindman stethoscopes have your name on it. They engrave your name on it. So it's quite easy to check whose stethoscope it is because it has your name on it. Master, I say a stethoscope that clearly does not have my name on it. The case was withdrawn, guys, because he's a doctor. Like, leave these slow people alone. Like, leave them. My friend is at this ward. She's like, okay, let me go confirm, and I'm coming back. She goes. About 10 minutes, 20 minutes later, she comes back with my friend. We understand. Now my friend sees that, hey, bo, I am bleeding. I am, my hand is swollen. I had a jacket on. The jacket is not there. She is shocked. She's literally asking what the fuck is going on. And then when, the, when this lady comes, right, she comes with a paper, a statement. She's like, we want you to write that you got injured when you jumped out the window and that you, you think it, you, you are trespassing. I'm like, nope, I'm not writing any statement. Hey, they were like, hey, wait now. Hey, wait now, write, 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 write. I'm in 
so much pain. I'm in so much pain. If you've ever had a hip fracture, you would know how painful that shit is. I am in so much pain and they are like, they are angry at the fact that I don't want to write a statement. And I'm like, oh, to them, okay, you know what? Let me, let me call my attorney and then, you know, find uh, um, what's going on. So I then reach into my pocket. I take out my phone. They grab it, right? They grab it. They're like, no, 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 you're not calling anyone. You're not calling anyone. My friend is still there. My friend then is like, they tell her, you need to leave. And she's like, hey, boy, how am I going to leave if we came here with a car? You understand? Yo, 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 guys. So those are the only clips which I managed to get for you guys. And I thought maybe I should post them because I find them to be a little bit, you know, juicy than the rest of the recordings which I have. Because last night, guys, I literally stayed up for three hours trying to get something of, of the Musa Kaula and Dr. Matthew Space there by Twitter. And... I was a wadla langa to u Dr. Matthew. Was a was moshela is card to u Dr. Matthew um last night. He literally was uh, there on the space regurgitating everything that this the media has been telling us about uh him, but just switching things here and there and adding ama spices and lies uh, because we all know that he is not um a doctor. So yesterday we are washoge is space in wati umebuza. Are you a medical doctor? Watinje mm does that mean yes what he can or dr matthew yeah so you could just see ugutinje u practice ile imuntu wabantu and what's funny to me is the fact that he was wasting i think he wasted for about 45 minutes before he was able to go onto the space because of um what do you call this network the city network yake i said however it's literally so funny how right after the space he was able to go on tiktok live whereby he does not have a one-on-one -on -one interview um he's got he's literally going to choose which question he's going to answer everything all of a sudden was working like the network was you know running smoothly like just like on twitter space now of course you guys some people are mad at the Musa Kaula for giving him the platform because they are saying we are enabling him uh he just needs help so we are now part of the problem for basically giving him the platform so that he can uh sort of like feed off this attention from this entire situation so guys what are your thoughts please let's just engage one another down on the comments like the video and also subscribe if you have not yet done so and i will surely see you on the next bye